Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about dancehall artist Dexter Daps getting a serious warning to stay in his lane as it relates to this whole bounty killer and Mr. Vegas feud. You understand? And Dr. Love is one of the persons them who will tell Dexter Daps he need for just stay over theme part because him is a man who sing for the ladies them. So he need to stay over there so and not actually get involved in a dispute. You understand? But on the flip side, Dexter Daps make a post and it kind of seem like him going to run into the war or him going to actually go dismiss a Vegas in a song. So, I'm going to show you that. You understand? Also, Footer Hype seem like him want Dexter Dabs for take on Mr. Vegas. You see, because Footer Hype like the post we make. So, as I say, people, I'm going to give you some more information on that. Mr. Vegas also make a post exposing Dexter Dabs with a tranny, or well, allegedly a tranny. You see, more people. So, one bag of thing I go on. Also, we're going to talk about popular YouTuber Ayat Money getting beaten after basically doing a prank on the wrong man. You see, me? the man mash him up, people. So, when you know say these pranksters from recently I get too outrageous as it relates to these new pranks and things. Also, we're going to talk about some Jamaican women who are now speaking out as it relates to this child seat law that is now taking place in Jamaica where taxes are required for have a child seat in there. The taxi them now want to take no woman with pitney. Them now want to take no child under 12 years old. So a whole lot of people get left stranded on the road and I'm going to show you some videos for kind of going to understand more as to what's taking place. You understand? Also, we're going to talk about a popular dancehall artist that goes by the name of Kano who is now denying some reports that Kano Came out yesterday that he was arrested. There's even more people. So, them say basically, them hold him based on him a hold some Canadian woman against her will. Like, him no want to make her leave. And you don't know, them are saying involved in a scamming and all type of things. So, the artist is now denying that he was ever arrested and things. So, I'm going to give you some more information on that. You understand, my people? So, before I go further into the topics, make sure you like this video. Now, go cost you a dollar. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, click the notification bell. Put it on all. That way, you get notified when I post a new video. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is popular YouTuber and prankster Ayat Mani being beaten. You understand, people? And guess what? Is an upcoming dancer artist actually beat him. Is it? But I could get into this story. Kind of make me wonder if it's a publicity stone. But anyway, this is how it's say. Prankster beating after jokes goes wrong. Although suffering bruises and injuring his ankle after one of his pranks went wrong, popular YouTuber Kimani Ayat Mani White said that he will not stop doing them. White was slapped in the face and, you know, stamped up by an upcoming dancehall artist Chad hyping halfway tree as he was doing a license plate prank. In a video that has gained more than 100,000 views and multiple shares on social media, White approaches a part BMW with what appears to be a screwdriver and a license plate. He then tells Shadaib that he had removed his license plate as it looked bent. He then said he was going to sell him another one. Shadaib grabbed the license plate from White's hand before realizing that his vehicle had not been tampered with. White informs him that it was a prank, but a section of the video shows Chad Hype hitting White. The prankster said he is unbothered. I really didn't expect that reaction from him, to be honest. But at the same time, when you are doing these type of videos, you have to prepare yourself for anything. When I look back at the video, maybe him could have reacted different. But at the same time, it's a win-win situation for me because any publicity is good publicity. He said, I hurt my ankle and I am hopping now, but it's fine because I got publicity. The pranks must go on. My face was swollen, but it gone down now. As I am a quick healer and I drink a lot of water, Chad Hype told the Weekend Star that he was unaware that White and his colleagues were pranksters. Crime is rampant in Jamaica and Halfway Tree is a place where people get robbed all the time. So I thought that this was one of these instances. He, he keep telling me that he is removing my license plate and I told him to leave it alone. He gave the impression that he was working for government. He had a screwdriver and another tool and acted like he took off my plate and walked off. I thought it was my plate so I came out of my car and asked him to give me my plate I got into defensive mode and that's when my tool was drawn because I didn't know if he was a thief I started to defend myself he said Chad I stressed that he is not a violent person he said he also damages his finger in the whole situation but is happy that neither he nor white receive serious injuries so you don't know that's how a Chad Ipe for some people but I'm not lying this whole situation here kind of shown to say, yo, you see when you have to prank on certain people, you have to be careful, you understand? And as I say, my people, I'm kind of skeptic for say whether or not this is 100% real. I don't trust these pranksters and some of them artists I want to get a bus, so I don't know people. But if it's real, 
All the thing I can say is, I am man, you have to be careful. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Mr. Vegas, Dexter Dabs, and this whole situation that's taking place. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Mr. Dexter Dabs make a post, Zed, and based on the post, it kind of seems like if the fans them really want him to take on Mr. Vegas, then he is willing to do it. You understand? So he made that post up on him Instagram page and him say, F do dancehall Barracuda, if my fans them ever say for Usher him out, and him tag Movado and him tag somebody else in my people. So it kind of seem like him and say, yo, if my fans them ever say for Usher him and you know, rush him, him I go deal with it. You understand? Musically, of course, what I talk about. So I'm not sure if um, Dexter Dabs just has said that or if he's really serious. But what we'll for watch and say? But on the flip side now, <laughs> we see Mr. Vegas make a post and basically him post up the photo there with Dexter Dabs in people and what appears to be a man. <laughs> you see my people. And in the caption, him say, on another note, me just see them video. You sure your kids safe with the question sign? How a straight man for make so much mistakes? Bad man no carry boy upon date, you see my people. So, Mr. Vegas basically I said that person that you're seeing on the screen with Dexter Dabs, that same that you're seeing in the cap right now, people. You see it? So, only can be the judge it. You don't know. Me not there for say whether I'm or not, but you don't know the thing of my people. So, let me know when you think about that whole situation here between Dexter Dabs and Mr. Vegas, if you know that wants yeah, lyrical clash. And also, let me know if you feel like say, Dexter Dabs was wrong for giving his opinion and said that he a roll with Bounty as it relates to the clash between Vegas and Bounty. You know, feel like Dexter Dabs shouldn't even bother saying nothing? Leave it in the comment section. And now we're going to move on to the part of the video where Dexter Dabs is being warned by Dr. Love to actually leave this war alone because, guess what? Him supposed to be a man where, um, where they call, you know, cater to the woman them. So why him would have actually run gun in a bounty and Vegas situation? Listen to what Dr. Love has to more people and tell me if you agree or not. Is it? Watch this. Dexter that, you know. Dexter that. No. You no tell me now, why did Dexter that take up bounty and Vegas war? Can anybody tell me? Because I can't last. Vegas and bounty have a war going for a long time. Right? And Dexter Dapp now get up, come out of him, you know. Mama said Dexter Dapp over the sign of him, we over the sign you know. And Dexter Dapp get up and take up Bounty and Vegas war in a film and, and then come out and say, boy, Vegas, whatever it is. Where Dexter Dapp do in a, in a, in a pitbull war? You're a singer, right? You're a singer. You're over there, sir, serenade the woman them. How did you find it? To make it your your duty, right? For you to come out when at the same time Dexter have come out in you know, and I say Vegas. Remember, say when Dexter go or something, there's a man. I don't even know. Remember, there's a man. All right, my people. So after listening to what Dr. Lobafa said, I want to tell me if you agree or not in the comment section, all right? And with that being said, I'm going to just move on to the next topic now, which is a lot of the parents them in Jamaica is feeling it as it relates to this whole child seat law that come in now. Zine. And basically, the taxes them I deny any woman with child and also them I deny carrying any kids under the age of 12 and stuff like that. You see my people? So, I see a post make over pink wall and a woman basically, you know, a complain because of this whole law. I know it a Africa and thing. I show you the video and then I go read something that was sent in over from pink wall. You see it, people? So, Watch that video here. Baby, them a while ago, no taxi no want pick me up because I have the baby. And he must say one man just get two tickets a while ago, so him no want bring me. Him no want to carry me. And I'm going to stand up out there with my baby. Cha cha stand. I'm going to send someone to walk with car seats everywhere I'm going and I'm going to answer my door for a vehicle. That's not going to send two of them and two of them to journal. This hard. You have to understand, you know, we're willing to carry you, you know, but at the ticket we are running from. Yeah, the man freak, the man said, do a five thousand dollars for go pay if police stop him. So somebody said this is unacceptable and we as a people can't sit and allow this to happen. Yes, laws are laws, but when you come with laws, make sure it benefits each and every one. So the baby them are gonna stay warm with the question sign. This lady is supposed to walk with two car seats for her baby them and take up the entire back of the man car. This is rubbish and we need to vote out the government here. Cause obviously a rich people alone them cater for shape my head. 
this cre this grieve my heart, you know, Pinky. Yes, it, my people. So let us get to the other video now, so when you can see what I go on, people. Watch this. Sending a message to Andrew Olness and him new law. Baby mother can't go home because of him new law. Taxi man now carry ship on the roadside. Want to go home. Because them say them not enough car seats, no baby seats, and no five thousand and a pay. So people more want to tell me what we do. Taxi there. Now nah, I can't no schoolers. Now nah, I can't no pick me. Now nah, I can't no baby. Tell me what we do. See the baby mother there roadside I wait. Can't get no taxi. Yeah, my people, so right now the government has said them look over this child seat law and thing. Yes, what man say, and my feel like say, since they are since they are now reviewing it, them should have just take it out completely. And you understand me? I say, I'll be honest with them people because it's rough for the woman them out there. Not just the woman. From you have your youth and your career youth and a taxi you take, how that's supposed to work. Yes, what man say, my people. Um, it's rough. Yes, it. But anyway, let me know where you think about this in the comment section, all right? So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Kano, who is now denying that he was actually arrested and also him denied the reports that him actually all a woman against her will. So this is what the story I say. Upcoming dancehall artist Kano has denied a CVM TV report that he is involved in human, you know, moving and scamming and that he allegedly hold a white woman against her will. She was living with me for a while, but the catty, the woman's friend, called the police in a Jamaica and sent me a whole her hostage. So the police them come to me yard. Kano explained to Dancehall Mag, when I look through the window, a crazy police outside and the man named Ronnie in and pushed me down. One of the police them broke my toilet bowl, my chest of jaws, my mirror on the wall, them demolished my house. She wasn't held or anything like that, or I never did hold her for ransom, nor she wasn't held against her will. She was there with me for six months, is a real relationship at the time. He added, the police in St. Catherine received a report that a white woman was being against her will at his home and the persons in Canada were being forced to send money. The police them not find nothing in my phone, nothing about scamming in my house. Me sing, me sing banging song, that's all. The bank robber artist whose real name is Arrett Brown said he was eventually detained and brought to the Spanish Town police station. I wasn't even in handcuffs. I was not a threat to them, he said. The police never pressed no charges against me. There was no evidence to me a scam or anything like that. When my asked the cops them for a search warrant, them never even show me nothing thing all him say was p-u-s-s-y you love talk this feels like a violation of my rights and plus the police leak false information to the media about me that the woman was rescued this can damage my reputation kano continued the police eventually brought the woman who is reportedly a former employee of a bank in canada to the station according to kano she corroborated his story and even defended him in the end as she ended up a defend me. She picked up for me and then told them it was all a lie. Even the girl brother said this whole thing wasn't right. Then violate my rights. He said, Kano intends to seek legal advice to clear up his name. I need the bloggers and the media to reach out the story because I have shows upcoming. Coming up online, it is false news. He said, a former contestant in the popular Jamaican competition, Magnum Kings and Queen of Dancehall, Kano gained attention in 2020 after a viral video surfaced of him DJing at a body shop in Spanish Town where he was employed at the time. Even Minister Marian Hall, formerly Lady Saw, was impressed with the lyrics potency of Kano who appeared the shirtless with under groomed here in the video I thought you were beanie man when he was younger then you start knock out the beat and I was like wow I am a Christian but I had to stop and listen cause you pull attention Hall said in an interview in 2020, Kano told Dan Salmag that his love for English literature while a student at the Jose Marte High School transcended to this day as he uses the style of creative writing to make lyrical sound, lyrically sound music. At the time, he said he had hopes of collaborating with Vibes Cartel, his songs including Bang Pan the Line featuring 10 Point, Top Coat, Bang Rabba, Miss Call, Make Me Feel, and Inside Her. You see, my people, so that's how Kano officer, and you don't know him did even go live on IG. And yo, this is how he did officer on IG live. MCM thing at the end of the idea, brother. So at the end of the idea, watch his time. So if me there, I am this then in a jail. 
So the light there over there, so now. And the curtain there, the window there, so now. At the end of the day, I jail me there. Jail luxurious, eh? He might not pay, but he luxurious, eh? All right, my people. So let me know anything about this. You know, artists, just be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And that's it for the video. You know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.